in their offensive sets, in particular, Ryan Anderson, when he's getting that pick and roll, he's coming off of that pick, that pick and he's going quick to the basket. And he's been definitely a Poole. Gietta, Watson, as well as Cox and Poole on the floor here for the Hurricanes. Poole almost lost his balance, shot clock at nine. Haywood calling for a screen, Watson comes. Haywood puts it up and in. 27 to 25. Paint, Anderson stops and pops, but can't get the hit. And Mike Poole with the weak side rebound, and Halifax Hurricanes use their defense to muster up the offense. Let's see what they got in store with this one. Here is Haywood now. Spin it away, gets by Anderson. Cox, oh, it can't go. Cooper said in the season and can't hit on that one as all of a sudden the free throws are hurting the London Lightning. Now four of seven. 6.53 left, Haywood over Williamson. Long distance two. He's got the confidence going as Haywood. He gets the bucket. Great heads up play by Herring Jr. Able to cut back towards the rim when he didn't have anything. Look who's heating up, Spew product. Downtown three, 32 to 31. On this point, they were in double digits when it came to offensive rebounds, they surrendered. They've only surrendered three offensive rebounds thus far of the hurricane, so shot clock. Shot clock was winding down, Johnson throws the dirt. Ochieno with the bucket. Good take there by Ken. What's going on guys? Thank you for coming to my vlog. Um, right now, uh, tomorrow is game day, game five. Um, it's going to be a tough one, tough one again. Now the series tied 2-2. Uh, my last vlog, uh, we actually won that game. Uh, really tough game. Uh, we tied the series 1-1. Then after um, heading into uh, game three, um, we lost game three uh, at home. Uh, we're up. Uh, uh, not, uh, by nine at, at half, uh, they ran up, but they end up coming back and losing. Uh, they played a really, really hard defense, um, and we just didn't match, that, match their intensity, so we ended up losing that game. So that was two one, uh, two one. They were up two one, and then uh, we won yesterday, um, <clears throat> which was a good game. Uh, we played really, really hard, um, and you know we we. we uh, you know, we worked really hard and, uh, you know, we played as a team, moved the ball around, but also our defense was really, really good. Uh, that was a really big key. Um, and we got some stops. We went to, we got into fast break situations and, um, you know, and we just pulled out the W against a tough team. And uh, so tomorrow is a new day um, and it's going to be tough again. You know, this is a really tough series, um, really good players. I think we match up really well against them. Uh, you can't make really, you can't really make a lot of mistakes with these guys because they're not accountable. Like I said before in my last vlog, but uh, yeah, we just gotta, you know, come out uh, and just uh, play with more, play with more intensity. Every game, you gotta, you know, set the bar really high. Um, so, you know, this is very, uh, you know, really tough series, and hopefully we pull out this win. Went, uh, went to tomorrow, but uh, it, it gotta, it comes down to uh, execution. We gotta execute right. We gotta move the ball around. We gotta. Uh, set screens. We got to run plays, um, um, and also they really clog the paint a lot because we're we're really we're the way how we're coached. We're like an inside-out team, right? We really rely on our post post play. Um, we got some really good post players um, that can score, and that has you know really good post moves and stuff. But uh, so they're really really uh, clogging the paint for us. So not a real not a lot of dribble penetration as much. Excuse me. If you just stand around. So you have to move the ball around and got set plays, got to do a lot of cuts and stuff. And, you know, not a lot of dribbling because they clog the paint. So uh, we just got to do a better job of, of, of moving the ball around and setting more screens and stuff like that uh, just to get a better flow, better, better flow of offense. Just do something a little different. So uh, they really want us to shoot the basketball. So we have to come tomorrow and really splash those shots tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just, you know, just uh, – you know, getting mentally prepared right now and just getting ready. You know, this is you know, I never. This is my third, third, third trip to the championship, and I need to get a championship sooner or later. Um, so this is an opportunity for me to get get a championship. So, uh, and just not just for me, but also for the fans. Uh, you know, this is their second time uh, being in the being in the championship with the Hurricanes. Um, 
So uh, it'll be good to, you know, bring a champion back to Halifax again because the Hurricanes won it last year, but I wasn't on the team. So, yeah, so um, just getting myself prepared, get a good night's sleep, you know, just relax. Um, and, yeah, so I was going to show you my in-game shoe, my in-season shoes, what I was wearing during the season. I was uh, picked up the uh, Steph Curry's, because Steph Curry threes. Uh, these are done, done. Like I said, uh, my previous vlog, shoes don't last long. On me, this is where I play. This is, these are gone, you know. So I gotta call Under Armour this week and get a new pair, you know, because these look probably last me about three weeks, and boom, I'm already out, you know. So and so, good shoes. I like it, but it just sometimes it just it's just uh, you know, it just kind of breaks down really really quick, you know. I like the shoes, comfortable. Um, I like I like Steph Curry. He's one of my favorite, actually my favorite basketball player. Right after Iverson, I like I just like how he plays. He's just a humble guy, uh, and uh, and you know, and he has you know uh, a great family um, around him, and you know, and he's not too cocky. You know, he's confident on the court, but uh, and you know, he's a uh, he's a pretty religious guy. You know, I could do all things. He's you know, right in the back here. You know what I mean? So that means a lot. You know, just have that on his shoe. You kind of know what type of person he is and uh, how he uh, how he is, so it's cool. it's cool. Yeah, and I got so I bought two pairs this season, you know. So these ones here, I couldn't think to call these the uh, the candy canes, you know, Steph Curry candy canes, I think. So uh, these are nice. Same thing. Uh, the cushion kind of wore, wore down a little bit, so. <laughs> I wouldn't call no I'm again I don't know but these do not really look like they're they're really too messed up but the whole thing about white shoes they get really dirty easily so I like them good shoes you know I like I like the color you know what I mean I like the little little paint drops you know or the cotton candy cane snowflakes whatever so yeah they're nice man I like them so those are my in season shoes I already showed you guys uh my playoff shoes some of you guys probably didn't see my vlog previous vlog um these are my in game shoes, Jordans, super flies. <laughs> really good basketball shoe, uh, good grip, really comfortable. Zoom all the way down the bottom. And right here, already. It's been probably two weeks I had these shoes already. But that's how hard, how hard I work on the court. So um, if you work hard, um, you know, the, <laughs> this is going to happen. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, just getting ready, mentally prepared for tomorrow, and um, wish me luck, uh, wish our team luck, and uh, it's going to be interesting, an interesting game tomorrow. All right, stay tuned to uh, our next vlog right after this. Take care. Peace.